Hey guys, so today is an unboxing video and today I am unboxing this very, very battered February Kira Kira crate. Now, firstly I'm going to start on like a slightly peeved and annoyed note because I had to pay customs, which is weird because I've never had to pay customs for my Kira Kira crate before. I live in the UK and I don't know if it's like anything in particular which was I don't know, I don't know if something in the customs was not allowed in the UK so I had to pay import costs but if anyone is in the UK and you're subscribed to this and you had to pay customs for your February Kira Kira crate please let me know because I just, I, yeah I'm annoyed you guys know I get peeved when I have to pay customs on my subscription boxes because I don't usually have to like this one comes from Japan I don't usually have to so anyway the Kira Kira crate is by the same people who do the Doki Doki Crate and it's by the overall company called Japan Crate and I will be leaving the links down below and yeah enough talk let's see what's inside okay let's see what's inside shall we hopefully what's inside will make me feel better <laughs> about having to pay customs I had to wait a long time for this box as well like I was trying my best to not get spoiled uh, Everything's like all messed up out inside, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the cute one. Issue number four. Wait, what? January? I am confused. Am I getting a backlog? I think, uh, was my last one the December one? You know what, I have no idea. I'm, I'm so confused, guys. Okay, so this is my January. Kira Kira crate. How confusing. I honestly can't remember if I unboxed the January or the December one. Okay, weird. Oh well. Let's carry on. And obviously inside the booklet will tell me what is inside, but obviously I don't want to know just yet, because otherwise I will be spoiled. Okay, let's... Um, okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. What is this? This is huge. Maybe this is why I had to pick customs, this huge-ass liquidy thing. I Oh, uh, wow, okay. Um, this must be like some sort of toner or something. It says fresh serum to, if you can see that, to last drop, to last drop lead to glowing skin. Okay, let's see what my, um, my booklet says about this. This is, this is not what I'm, what? Oh, okay. Five length sealed bottle face lotion refreshing type. In the middle of winter, it's more important than ever to keep your face moisturised, but no one likes an oily product. The slight moisturiser will have your skin glowing and feeling refreshed in no time flat. Ooh, a special hermetically sealed bottle also keeps the face long face lotion fresh and lasts longer. This is a very liquidy This is this is not really so much a face cream. So when I hear the word lotion I think of like lotion lotion. Huh, okay. Okay, interesting. This is this is quite a big product though as well. This is yeah, four hundred and sixty milliliters. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, sorry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna insert me. Ooh, chapstick, chapstick. Oh, ooh, delicious. Lip cream. This one is strawberry chocolate. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Okay. So these are the ones you could have gotten says delicious lip cream and don't forget the lips the strawberry chocolate and mint chocolate scented lip balms of which one we will well, 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 whatever melt into your skin and will leave you smelling as sweet as founding valentine's day chocolate sorry i can't read today guys <laughs> you know i kind of wish i had the mint one because you guys know i really like mint but i already have a lot of mint lip balms so actually i think it was kind of good i got the strawberry one something different and the packaging is so pretty it's so pretty Yes. Okay. It's, I'm gonna go for the eyeshadow palette next. Oh, this is a cute little eyeshadow palette. Look at that packaging, guys. That's so freaking cute. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Sorry. I need knocks over actually. Um. um okay. PGT. Mm, okay. PGT. Four color nuance. Look sweet this Valentine's Day with eyeshadow colours that look like Neapolitan ice cream! Oh! Whether you're going out friends or an SO, this palette will have you feeling your very prettiest. That's super cute! Okay, so I think we could have gotten... Oh, I was going to say we could have gotten like one or different, but it just seems they only had this one. Which is pretty cute! It's pretty! It is pretty! And it also t gives... I bet it will give me advice on eye looks in the background. 
But it also seems in this little information -y thing here that it gives me advice there, so that's pretty cool. Okay, next item is... Ooh! I remember being spoiled about this on their Instagram. This is pink liquid liner. Now, I don't really have much luck with liquid liner, but this is really cool, so I am going to be trying this. Let's see what my booklet says. That is not... This is... This is... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yes. Okay. Uh, BWR... PM? PRM, sorry. Liquid eyeliner, crazy pink. Channel express your kawaii self with pink eyeliner. Liven up your usual makeup routine with this unique product. And it seems you could have gone like several different colours, such as, I don't know, purple, uh, blue, and green. That's pretty cool. So they have different liquid liner colours. That is pretty cool. I will have to try that. <laughs> Okay, 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 we're getting to the last few bits. Ooh, I, yeah, I saw this on Instagram, I got spoiled, and I know this is a lip mask, the choosy lip mask, and we have the chocolate banana. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it says, got a case of chap lips, or just looking for some oomph before that special date? This lip mask will do the trick and leave your lips feeling soft and moisturised. It's even chocolate banana scented, a fun scent for all you chocolate lovers out there. Now I have been informed to not lick these, because apparently they do not taste nice. Uh, but yeah, I have been informed of that by one of my followers. <laughs> bath salts? This, oh, it's ugly mushy. Definitely bath salts. Definitely bath salts. It's such a, it just seems like a weird, I don't know, the packaging's not exactly the flashiest, but let's see what it says. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yakuyuburo uh, fatigue. After a long day out, this citrus ginger bath soap can, oh, citrus ginger, that sounds nice, can help relieve fatigue by enhancing blood circulation, leaving your muscles and joints loosened and relaxed. Okay, that's, that seems like it'd be good to have a soak after like the gym or something. Okay, and last item is a face mask, yes! I love that they include, like from my experience so far, they've included a face mask in every, um, in every box. And this is a seaweed one. Like, Pure Smile is a really good cosmetics brand. Well, not cosmetics, um, beauty brand? Or is it? Is it cosmetics? Is that the right word? <laughs> I don't know, I'm half asleep, guys. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay, so it seems we could have gotten a selection of all of these. Seaweed one seems pretty cool though. Um, February is a month all about love and treating yourself. What better way to celebrate it than giving your skin some pampering? Okay, so we could have gotten a whole bunch, but I think I'm glad I got the seaweed one because I like the seaweed one. Okay, and let's have a quick look at the makeup tip at the back of the book. Now this one, usually they like tell us how to use stuff that we've received in the crate. And this is just... Uh, here we go, here we go. So about the eyes, and this is what it says about the eyes. Now I, use, I need help with eyeliner, so I'm just going to read this. Uh, apply the rose gold tone over the centre of the upper lid, then blend the gold tone from this, uh, uh, oh. Okay, I think I get this. I think I got it. <laughs> okay, oh, and this is a charm point. That's cute. That's a cute idea. Okay, and that was everything in the booklet, and at the front it also lists it. It's cute. Awesome. Okay, it's now the part of the video where I choose my favorite product. Now, this box is pretty good, although I still have to check if the last box I unboxed was the December one, because I'm so confused by it. They seem to have a backlog, because I'm used to getting these boxes a lot earlier, so, hmm. I don't know when my February one's gonna come. I'm very confused, guys. I'm so confused. <laughs> but okay, let's see. They have some great stuff. They always give us, like, really cool, like, cosmetic thingies. I don't know, I, I quite like all the stuff you got. I like, you guys know I love face masks, so I'm not gonna go for face masks. I'm gonna set a rule saying that I can't choose the face masks in the Kyo Kyo Crate, because I, I would go with that by default. Now this stuff seems pretty cool. Now if you guys subscribe to my channel, you'll know that in my No Make No Life box, I also received a toner too, so I'm gonna compare those two and see which toner is the better toner. I also think the lip balm is super cool. I can't wait to use it, I love lip balm stuff. But I think just for like the pure awesomeness, I'm gonna go with like the pink liquid liner because I'm gonna be trying that out. I'm gonna try another makeup video with this stuff and see how it looks. It's gonna be great. 
Um, what was your guys' favourite item from today's unboxing video? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love watching me unbox these or if you just love watching subscription box and boxes in general or you also like are subscribed to this kind of stuff. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to me if you already aren't so you can keep updated with my unboxing videos. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed!